What's going on dudes and dudettes and welcome back to the wonderful world of Metal Gear Solid. Now you might be wondering why for a fact that I uploaded uh, part 3 and it was really really short. Well the reason for that is because basically I didn't really have enough time to record uh, without getting interrupted and I really don't want to have to cut out the audio because it is a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. So what I did is I actually recorded the intro for the uh, the, plant, the tank, no, no it is a plant yeah the plant mission which we are currently on now and I thought I'll do that then come back to it later on and now I've got a bit of time so hopefully I'm going to be able to record without too much of an interruption but we're going to jump straight into this oh what is that noise huh what was that noise hopefully you guys watch the introduction if you didn't then go back and watch it but we are now oh in fact no go back and watch the intro guys to, to the plan, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. I've sighted an enemy sentry, AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Grelukovich man. Grelukovich? A Russian mm -hmm. private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal. An arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, mm. an army without a country. Sorry about the background there, guys. The cat seems to love to scratch at the door as I'm recording. So the cat can just wait. If it gets annoying, I'm sorry. He can just wait. But that's going to get really annoying, so what I'm going to do is. Hopefully no more into a few then. And sat back down and hopefully I can hear but there's no more freaky chair. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. Now the cat's gonna try and jump in the box because he's an idiot. He is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. <laughs> no. That's a really, really bad thing. Use the node. To gain access oh. to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That mm. radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high. Should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. Triangle. <laughs> action button. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before yeah. those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Basically, if you get an alert, you won't be able to access them. And basically what this does is, it was a really, really cool way to be able to deal with it. Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. The owner enters their required user ID information during the weapon registration or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. But these are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs gear? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons mm. then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. 
You should know this from your VR training. Okay, I know those. <laughs> Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. And that was a really, really cool way to deal with the fact that um, you have to find your own weapons, really, because if you took out every single guard, because obviously, apart from actual weapons, you still have access to the strangle. Which can... That is really good. Oh. <laughs> that basically means that um, you can still pick up rations and things like that from guards and ammo, but you can't actually use the weapons themselves. Just for the sake of getting around it, really. Right, uh, let's just mm, fishy, shall we? Okay, right, my birthday is. Oh, 11 of the 13. Apparently, never. No, that's better. I'm from the UK, obviously. Let's do that. Mm. Uh, real time cutscenes are in full screen. Obviously, radar type 2 on as per usual. Blood on. Captions on. On view normal. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Exit. Good work, right? The radar should be functioning Good now. Good work, right? Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able oh to God. use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The big shell's layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, mm. and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything alright? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Mm. Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no mm. field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need Ooh. someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, Aww. that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn Raiden. and save. <laughs> the proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. 
Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. <laughs> Boom. Uh oh, my dad's awaking up. This isn't good. So yeah, as I was saying, it's a really, really cool way to be able to deal with the um God say call it call off, call it call off, call it call. I'm basically gonna I'm gonna skip that one because basically all it tells us is the waking up and I already know that. I'm under enemy fire! Secure the perimeter! Secure the perimeter. As I was saying, the nodes are a really cool way to deal with the, um, basically a good way to get around the fact that it's on the radar on all the time, and it gives the player more, it makes the player less, less secure really, So obviously they have to find the node in each area, and to be able to deal with that you have to actually look out for the guards yourself, to be able to deal with that. I'm going to make this safe for me, I'm not going to just run out in there in the open, because this guy on the left will actually go through the door on the left. Where I, just, where I come from, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wait for the area. Then I'm going to go for the room there. And ah, just do a flip just to make it look cool. There, there's, a, there's an easier way you can do that, but as I said, I'm playing it safe. Play it like I normally would. So this is a reference to the... The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. He did. The hero of Shadow that Moses? Hurt, so that's why you changed my code name. Right. But he can't be THE Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Hmm. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay yeah, extra all. sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? Nude. SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells 1 and 2. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of Strut A, Shell 1 at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Okay, so we now have a family bit of control before we actually get another goddamn codec call. I'm gonna enjoy it like I can. I don't really need to do that. Flip right and flip. Flip! Flip, bitch! Show you guys something really, really cool here. <laughs> it's a really, really bad Easter egg, but it's still pretty fun. Uh, let's be serious about this. Basically, I'm going to answer that because all the codec call is basically telling me to press X. This one I can't skip on. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Well, so we now know Sail Team 10 is in. Going to the pump room. Yeah, should be rushing. No, I'm tripping. So at the moment, because we haven't logged into the node, we have no radar, and obviously we have to be careful of the area for guards. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. 
understood. See, but this is the, this is the only one where it actually shows us where the actual node is, which is really really simple. Mm -mm. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Just try one guard. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Circle. Basically, I should knock on walls there, but I'm going to do that. Open these because there should be something in here. Soak on bullets, which I don't going to soak on yet, so it's completely pointless. <laughs> God damn it, that was clever, Scott, wasn't it? And Henry, I need help. That was clever, Scott, wasn't it? Well. I just took a massive thing, didn't it? Hmm? Over there. Go over this, because that was absolutely clever, Scott, wasn't it? Yeah, there's no one here, you're tripping. Go away. See, the other problem with this is the fact that I don't have a knob to log in from. I'm going to have to wait. Now I have to be extremely careful. Of course, there we know there's more guards around than there really should be. Can't leave that. I said I'm going to try and get no alerts and all sorts, and I messed up on the first part of the game. Oh, the first part of the first part, anyway. That was clever. I'm going to hide in the locker. Just until the caution goes down, because I don't know what the enemies are. So I don't really want to risk it running into one again. Can't believe how stupid I wasn't. That's actually really annoyed me. As soon as the caution goes down, I go for the nude. One thing I do like about the um, alert modes and caution modes is the music. Guardian, stay alert. Right, so, it's not like there's anyone coming around, so. Because he spotted me. Alright, hopefully this should knock him out. Oh, never mind, I killed him. Never mind. Has he got anything on him? I didn't mean to kill him, but oh well. Sorry guys, it's not a microphone. It's not really a thingy because I killed like three guards in the, the tanker anyway, so. Doesn't really matter too much. This is the node. Okay, okay, target guy, give me my node. Okay, so there, we now have the radar. You spin me right around, baby. Right. What I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna leave it here for now, because obviously I don't want to risk being interrupted. And considering I already messed up. <laughs> It's really, really bad. So we're just gonna save the game here. What's up, Jack? What's up, Jack? See, those are my other ones. I said the reason I've done that on easy and that on hard because I've already, I've already finished those. But those were my um, playthroughs for um, the dog tags for the previous one. So that's nothing new there, but this is the normal one. I'm gonna overwrite that. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. 
I'm gonna finish this hmm. thing by tomorrow, no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Yes, Rose. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. Like I said, because I don't really want to risk being interrupted. And I've done, done, done a good solid 20 minutes, like I said. Usually the parts will be a lot longer than this, but at the moment, like I said, being interrupted is probably the worst thing in the world. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, and I will see you in part five. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. So if you have enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up. And I know the first two parts are doing pretty well, and people seem to be enjoying them, so I appreciate that, guys. So please, please, please give it the more support that you can, and I'll try and pump these videos, guys, as quickly out as I possibly can for you. Thanks for watching Dudes and New Debts, and I will see you in part number five. Peace. I've got to stop saying it like that. It sounds really, really weird. But thanks for watching, guys.